Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 31st. So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you. And, you know, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the next day. Whenever this resonates, okay, keep that in mind that the timing could be, it's any time in the near future by the way I see it. So, what do we have for around the 31st? Six of Wands. So, the Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's a win. Okay, this is progress, leadership. Uh, this is a yes. You win. You win. Whatever that means, it's a yes. The Hierophant. Now there's a higher power involved here. This is about faith and believing and using your gut. Somebody's, uh, this is guidance of some sort. Receiving some sort of guidance. We have somebody here that has been through some sort of competition or some sort of battle. It's over. It's finally over. They've won. It's and now. This is about commitment. It's about faith. Believing. Believing in oneself. Believing in a higher power as well. Six of Cups reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Six of Pentacles. We have six, six, six. Six, six, six. And I knew we were going to get six, 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 and that's why we kept going. That's why I didn't keep talking because I was waiting for that other six. I almost said it. I'm going to go until I get that other six. I knew we were going to get another six. So 666 is time to get your life back on track. People will say that is the number of the devil. And the only reason it is the number of the devil because it means that you need to take control. It means the devil has control at this moment. Satan, you know, the, the lower vibration, the shadow has the control. 666 is about you taking back control. It's about you waking up spiritually. And that's why we have the Hierophant here. It's about you making a choice. You need to reevaluate. Whenever you see 666 anywhere, it means you need to reevaluate whatever you're doing at this moment. Because sixes are about the journey that you are taking. So somebody needs to reevaluate their steps. They need to reevaluate right now. Because, you know, you get what you deserve with the Six of Pentacles. We get the Six of Cups here reversed. Now the Six of Cups reversed is uh, nothing stays the same. Somebody's been clinging to the past. With the Six of Cups reversed, they've been clinging to the past, clinging to the memories. They need to reevaluate. They need to go on another journey. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of hard work and effort. Uh, you're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to believe in your gut. You're going to have to believe in a higher power. This is packing up, leaving home. Uh, the, the Queen of Swords in reversed is harsh words. It's uh, somebody that is very, very assertive, that it is not about the feelings, okay? It's not about your feelings. It's about the facts, and, sometimes, and it's about the truth. Perhaps the truth hurts. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is not practical, irresponsible, not stable, insecure. Somebody that isn't very um, stable in some way. We could have an individual here that is very, very focused on materialism because 666 is about materialism as well. So in this King of Pentacles in reverse is about materialism and this is about spirituality. So and, and 666 is a spiritual wake up call. So we, it is, okay, you feel free to look it up. But anyhow, so somebody needs to wake up. It's not about the things. It's not about what you have in your hands, okay? You can't take any of that with you. Um, 
now this queen of swords in reverse is somebody that it's an energy of uh I don't care. I don't care what you think. You know what I mean? This person's like, I don't care what you think. This is getting what you deserve. The Six of Pentacles. You get what you deserve. Some people, some people won't get anything. Some people will get something. So this is interesting. You get what you deserve. You reap what you sow. Oh boy, this is fun, huh? You need to have faith. You need to believe. This is this is really also about whether you're a good person or a bad person. Just saying. Um, now this is public recognition of some sort as well. The Six of Wands. Somebody, somebody may be publicly recognized in the near future. And they could be feeling disgraced. They could be disgraced. We have somebody here that doesn't care about feelings. They got some sort of information and they deliver it and they really don't care who they hurt. Could be somebody from the past. Could be an ex. This person is bitter. Okay, the Queen of Swords in reverse is bitter. Giving somebody what they deserve. Somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve. With the Six of Pentacles. They're giving something. And the sixes are about choices. So somebody has made some choices, you know, probably with somebody, an ex, because the Queen of Swords in reverse resembles an ex, and it doesn't matter what sign it is. And this is poor choices. Somebody's made some poor choices. Interesting. Perhaps with an ex, now they're going to, they could lose financially. They could be having a financial loss. This could be taken away because this is the Six of Pentacles next to the Six of Cups reverse. This is children. This is robbing of innocence. Something could be taken away. Something could be taken away. The devil right underneath the Herald font. Oh my God. And that is the truth. Oh my God. Okay. That is freaking amazing. So this is heaven versus hell god versus satan i mean i can't it is what it is right okay so this is about taking back control literally this is literally in the, with the devil reversed or satan reversed whatever that is up 666 and that is about taking back control that is breaking free from a toxic unhealthy situation greed lust materialism uh, addictions and things could get worse, okay? When you get the devil in reverse, this means something could get worse. This is a deep, dark place. This is, it could be a disaster when it's in reverse, okay? And somebody really needs to gain control. They need to. Things definitely can get worse if somebody does not gain control. I feel like we have somebody that is doing things that are illegal, they are probably doing things illegally. Uh, they're lying. They're not telling the truth. They could be. It could be a couple. It could be a, a boyfriend and a girlfriend, a husband and a wife. It doesn't have to be, but it feels like there's a couple that could be doing things illegally. Okay. If not, it's one person, and it could. We could have an ex here that is, you know. Well, this is getting what they, somebody is giving something. They're giving something. You get what you deserve. Anyhow, this devil reverse is, is freedom, breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Whether it's an addiction, whether it's greed, whether it's lust, whatever it is, it's not good for you. There's a higher power. It's, it, this is a real battle. This is a real freaking battle. It's a battle between good and evil. It really is. This person, the Queen of Swords in reverse, it's not about the feelings. It's about the facts. And it, she doesn't care. She may be revengeful. There is somebody here that may be revengeful. And the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is that is greedy. Very, very, very greedy. Very, uh, 
shallow, selfish. The Six of Wands, though, is wanting to win. It's it's victory after sorrow. Some this is about winning. Somebody wants to win. They want. That's the very first card. They want to win. They may but they may be trying to do anything to win. But this is success that comes after hardship. So they're and this is breaking free from a toxic situation. So but things are going to get worse. Things are going to get worse before they get better. And there is a higher power that is watching. There's the ant. I haven't seen him. I don't know if you saw him over there a minute ago. He keeps on coming up. It's the only ant I've seen. He only comes out when I do a reading, of course, whatever. Anyhow, um, 666, it's time to get your life back on track. This is a spiritual wake-up call. This is the journey to balance and harmony. I hope you're making the right choice. I hope you're reevaluating your actions because they are going to be judged by a higher power. And you are going to get exactly what you deserve, good or bad. Now, the Six of Cups reversed is freedom from obligations. So somebody may be freed from their obligations. Something could be taken away with that Six of Pentacles and given to somebody else. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Now, this is a union, a partnership of some sort. Now, this is some, this is, and it could be good or bad, like I said. Okay. Now this is the receiving a union, receiving a partnership. This is love. There's a higher power that is, that is on top of all of this. You see where it is? It's on top. It sees all. This higher power, whether it's the universe or God or whoever it is, this higher power sees all. Okay, you see where it's located. Okay, so we have we definitely have a higher power that is seeing seeing something. They're seeing some sort of dysfunction as well. Anyhow, we do have a union here. We have a couple. We have a partnership. Somebody's going to be receiving something. They're going to be receiving. I mean, this could be a perfect match. Not somebody from the past. The 6 of cups is reversed. This is not the ex from the past. Did you hear me? Let me repeat that. This is not the ex from the past. Let me say it again. This is not the ex from the past. There is another opportunity here. There is. There is. There's an opportunity for commitment. There's an opportunity for a union. It could lead to victory. It could lead to success. But somebody has to make a choice because of that 666. They have to choose balance and harmony. That you need to choose to break free and sever ties from a bond that is unhealthy. So, somebody is gonna be guided towards a union where there will be equal equal reciprocation should they sever the ties with the past there's a higher power that is definitely bringing two people together it's almost like they run into each other they run into each other If you are in a coupled relationship now and everything is happy, then this reading isn't for you. Then then you're at a place of victory. You're at a place of success. This is a long-term commitment. This is your perfect match. If everything is happy, you're you're golden. Okay? This is great. 
if you are in a partnership now where there is no reciprocation, you are being guided to sever those ties. There's definitely some sort of obsession here with the devil card. This is obsession and this is too. We have somebody here that is obsessed. They are obsessed. And they're not being realistic. They're not being logical. They're not being practical. They're obsessed. And it's time. 666. It's time to get your life back on track. Anyway, there's an opportunity for love that is going to come up. Okay, there is. This is not somebody from the past. Maybe somebody that you played with before. Because we have the five of wands on the bottom that's played with. You know, whatever you take that, however you want to. Anyhow, um, I do believe that you need to believe and you need to have faith. And you need to follow your gut because you are going to be guided towards a union that is very reciprocal. Uh, not one-sided. Not toxic. Not unhealthy. It's perfect. Okay. This is not a traditional couple. Okay, it's not traditional. It's not a traditional match. I don't think it is. I don't people can say that's tradition. I don't think it is. I don't think I don't think it's just a, a traditional match. I don't. This is there it's like you're going to be brought together with somebody that you feel very very comfortable with you can be yourself with you don't have to pretend to be somebody you're not it's not going to be all about the money it's not going to be all about the things this person is nothing like the ex This is the end of a battle because of that six of wands. Okay, it is. That's the. This is the end of a battle. This is breaking free. It is. It's breaking free from the past. It is. It's breaking free from the, this. Is the six of cups versus the past? One more card. Now that Hierophant is a higher power. It's it's uh, access to God. It's um, marriage, okay, or a teacher or something. Somebody's uh, guidance. So some guided. Somebody's being guided towards a union that could lead to marriage. Ten of Wands. It says crawling out of a hole. Over, overwhelmed. We got somebody here that is overwhelmed. They are held back by burdens. They are held back by baggage. They are definitely having a hard time hanging on to this toxic situation. It's definitely time to let go. Let go. There's an opportunity. Let go of the partnership that is toxic. Because when you do, when you, this is, this, this is give and take, the six of pentacles. When you let go, you will receive. So anyway, I feel right around the 31st, there's going to be some sort of decision or choice with these sixes. That has to do with a partnership. This is a very big choice. This is a choice to let go. It is because it can't hold on anymore. 
somebody's gonna be letting go absolutely and they're being guided to let go because there's something better there's something better so I think what's gonna happen on this day is that there's going to be a release okay this is a release It's freedom. It is freedom. The devil reversed his freedom. Things have gotten worse. Somebody has been, you know, they've been tempted. They've been, what is it? They've been overdoing it. They've been going overboard with the devil reversed. Things have gotten worse. They have. They have. There's some sort of addictions here that have gotten out of control. Whether it's an obsession, or it's lust, or it's greed, or it's food, or it's gambling, or it's drugs, or whatever it is. Or something has gotten out of control. Maybe it's work. Work can be an addiction. Money. Something has gotten out of control, and it has impacted the opportunity for a happy relationship. Anyhow, this is releasing, releasing something, letting go. It really is letting go of responsibilities, letting go of a burden, letting go of baggage, letting go of heavy weight, just letting go, just letting go. Somebody is letting go. They're letting go of something that has been uh, hindering them from a partnership. And it may be an ex. And I also feel that um, there's an opportunity to uh, receive exactly what you deserve from somebody that is not your ex, okay? So is somebody coming in on this day, is there going to be some sort of anything? I do see a release, releasing a burden, releasing responsibilities, just letting it all go being guided to do so the lovers right next to oh my god so yeah there's an unexpected choice in love this is being at the right place at the right time like i said somebody could be running into somebody this is kindred spirits this is a perfect un union this is a major choice and it is a choice between two when you get the lovers card and when you make a choice it's not a choice between one it's a choice between two okay so we have a choice between two that is on the table here and somebody is making a choice and it has to do with the person in the past and the person in the present or the future and the choice is about to be made today I do believe that there's going to be some sort of communication from somebody that may feel some sort of deep connection with another person um, falling in love with things getting getting you know going a little bit deeper perhaps um, another six by the way so now we got four sixes so somebody is definitely making a choice they have been materialistically focused or they have been focused on you know everything but love but something happens there's some sort of shift there is there's some sort of shift and maybe it has to do with God or a higher power that says you know it's time it's time for you to fall in love it's time for you to reevaluate your choices you know reevaluate what's most important to you and this per whoever it is does it I feel like it's it's coming face to face with somebody as well it feels like it's a face to face it's like you run into this person face to face this is a healing love it's a sexual connection it's somebody that you know you could have a long-term commitment with uh, you'll feel the connection you'll feel uh, a spark of some sort so I feel as though we have two people coming together unexpectedly after somebody has been holding on to something that was unhealthy for too long I feel like what happens is, is these two people meet face to face 
and they just let go whatever that means however that means to you somebody lets go with that ten of wands they decide to let go There is definitely a new partnership here and it is not the person from the past. This is about taking the journey to balance and harmony and leaving the troubled past behind. Good luck. 